Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share another delicious recipe with you. It's gonna be chicken shami kebabs. So let's see what goes into the shami kebabs. First of all, I've got some chicken breast here that's cut and washed. I'm just gonna add that to the pot. I've got the heat on a really low at the moment. And I'm gonna have this chana dal, which I've soaked in warm water for about an hour before the use. So just discard the water and add the chana dal to this. I boiled a kettle of water. I'm just gonna add this. About three three cups at the moment. And I'm gonna turn the heat on a high. So that's about it. I've some I've got some garlic here. Just add that into there. I've got ginger. You don't need to chop these finely because we're gonna grind this up afterwards. I've got one onion here, roughly chopped. I'm going to show you these whole spices now. I've got some cinnamon, some black pepper, black cardamom. I've got cloves, bay leaves, and this is whole cor dried coriander and some cinnamon sticks. What I'm going to do, guys, is grind this up together. I've ground up the whole spices, as you can see, but I haven't finally ground them. I just left them a bit sort of coarse. I'm just going to add this to the chicken. Also, a few more spices I'm going to go in here. I've got some cumin seeds. This is turmeric powder, salt, and some chili flakes. That all goes in there as well. Now, guys, give this a good mix. We want the chicken and the chana dal to become nice and soft. So we can, when we blend it together, it becomes a nice smooth paste. So I'm going to let this come to a boil and then just put it onto a medium to low heat and then let it cook. Now and then just give it a stir and see if you need any more water then you can add a tiny bit of water if it needs it. If not just cook it in this water. So I'm going to show you when it's about halfway done and then we'll see how it looks. It's been about 20 minutes guys this will be cooking as you can see the dal is nearly there slightly hot and the chicken's half cooked as well so you'll not need any more liquid than this as you can see I've got the gas on about medium slow to medium gas I'm just going to turn it up slightly because I think there's quite a bit of liquid and I want that to dry up as well so we're just waiting for this to cook I want the chana dal to cook all the way through and the chicken and all the water to dry up. So just keep an eye on it, give it a mix. The more it dries up, the, it starts sticking to the pan. So just keep an eye on it. I'm just gonna put the bit, lid back on and let it cook. It's been another five minutes with the lid on. As it's been cooking, I'm gonna take the lid off now and put it on a higher heat now. And I'm gonna dry all this liquid. As you can see, the dal is still a bit hot, but in this liquid it will cook perfectly. Even the chicken is nice and things nice and soft as you can see. I'm just breaking apart. So just keep on stirring this until all the water has evaporated, and then I'll show you what we do next. As you can see, there's only a tiny bit of liquid left, and the dal is completely soft. With the help of this spatula, I'm just going to break the chicken down a bit so it's easier to blend. As you can see, it's nice and soft. Just the big pieces. Just keep on mixing it, make sure it doesn't stick. That is perfect, guys, as you can see. That is completely done. I'm going to close. I'm going to turn off the gas. And what I'm going to do, I've got two plates here. I'm just going to divide them in two plates so it cools down nice and quick. And when you come back, I'm going to blend this together and add a few more things to it. The masala is cooled down quite 
a bit. So I'm just going to add some to this food processor. I'm just going to put half of this in there. And just going to pulse it. So I don't want it to be too fine. So with the pulse, it's easier to keep it in control. As you can see, the chicken is already ground up. Just with the help of the spoon, just put everything down so they won't inc incorporate properly. I'm just going to visit again. Look at it again. So let's just put this down so all the dal as well is nice and ground up. As you can see still got sort of whole pieces of the jinnah dal just going to blend it a couple of times more let's see what it's doing it's nearly there i think another couple of visits and then See, as, as you can see guys that is done now so I'm gonna remove this from here and put it in a bowl and start using the rest of it up to this batch now I'm gonna add a good half a bunch of fresh coriander as you can see roughly chopped and I'm just gonna add a few green chilies to it as well roughly chopped I'm gonna add the next I'm gonna add some more of this mixture so it combines it nice and thoroughly. Same as before, guys. I'm just gonna blend this together. Just gonna have a quick look. Just push this mixture down. You need to keep on grinding it until it's nice and smooth. And that'll take about a couple of minutes to do that. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you how it looks. Guys, that's completely done now. I'm going to remove this, put it in the bowl, and then we'll go on to the next stage. All the mixture's done, guys. So I'm just going to mix it all together, combine it. And a few more things that I'm going to go with. This is garam masala. I've got the recipe on my channel. You can have a look. I've got some ground up pomegranate here. If you haven't got pomegranate seeds, you can use a tablespoon of lemon juice. One more thing I forgot to tell you guys, if you don't want to add any the green chilies or the <coughs> coriander in there, it's totally up to you. You don't need to. They will taste nice without them as well. After I give this a good mix, I'm going to taste this. If it needs any more salt or chilies and then i can add it now and if it doesn't then it'll be just fine so i'm just gonna give it a tiny little taste for me that is fine guys so i'm gonna leave it as it is so we're just gonna give it a really good mix and then we're gonna make these into patties and then we're gonna fry them i'm gonna shape these into shami kebabs i'll just take a certain amount and just flatten them 
on the sides make sure if it's cracking with your hands just guys this one's made now as you can see it's not too thick and not too thin just it's kind of medium size and if you find it hard to do it by hand i've just got a cup of a jar as you can see and i've got some cling film just put that in there and just take the amount you took before for when you were making the hand ones just pop it in there and just flatten it with your hands just flatten it and as you can see it's so easy to make and just lift it up There you go. As you can see, it's like a cup shape, but you just give it a little press and it becomes into a nice round shamika bag. I'm going to make a few more and then we're going to fry these up. Guys, I thought I'll show you another one with a cup. This is the last one I'm making. Just take a round ball of the mixture and then pop it in there with your hand. Just press it down. I'm just using the palms. that easy and then just lift it out and just press it nice and evenly as you can see it's ready now we're gonna fry these up obviously it's up to about four eggs in here as you can see the shamis are ready to fr be fried also I've got a pan on that's been heating with some oil if we're gonna shallow fry these they never deep fry they always shallow fried and as you can see I've got it on a like a medium heat. I warmed it up on a high heat and then I've turned it down because the mixture is cooked. You just need to cook it from the outside and you don't want the egg to burn. So what I'm going to do is take one chamois and just dip it in the egg and make sure you coat it all the way around and just add it to the pan. I'm going to take another one. Again, slowly just as you can see, the mixture is not breaking up at all. It's going in. And now I'm going to add another one, three at a time. That'll be fine. Guys, I'm going to cook these when they're nice and golden brown on either side. So I'm going to let it cook for about a minute or so on one side and then turn it over. After a minute, guys, that they should look something like this, nice and golden brown. Okay, put the other side now. You just need to cook them when they're nice and golden brown as these are, as you can see. Just a few more seconds on the other side and then I'm going to take them out and put them on a plate with some tissue paper on. As you can see, our shamis are cooked. You can just see the green specks of the coriander poking through. I'm going to cook the rest of these guys and then we're going to serve them up. Same again guys, just coat the eggs all the way around. Slowly looking after your fingers that, that the oil doesn't splash up. I'm just going to put this one in now as well. If you haven't got the egg all the way coated around, then they're just going to break up. So make sure you coat it all the way. On both sides and same again you're just going to need to cook these until they're nice and golden brown and then we'll serve them up here you go guys i've just garnished it with some uh, cucumber and onions and i made green coriander chutney as you can see the recipe is on my channel already i'm going to open one for you i'm just going to break it and see how nice and soft they are i hope you enjoyed this recipe guys I'll put my other recipe up as well. I didn't get much love on it. Please, please like and comment on my channel. And I would love to hear from everyone. And if you want any kind of recipe, I will give it a go and I'll record it for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your family and friends. And I'll see you soon. Allah Hafiz.